we are in North Arlington, New Jersey, and we're going to Paradox Comics. So let's go check it out. Let's go inside. All right, and we got some handsome signage here, and they have sport and gaming cards, action figures, statues, busts, and of course, comic I books. Know. And we are inside. Here we go. Like and subscribe if you like guys like the content here. And I see a 50 cent box. Let's go check it out. All right, we got a little cool box here. Magnus Robot Hunter from Valiant Comics in the 90s. And we had the NOM. And we got some Star Trek and pa look who got a Powers book. Very cool. Should I grab that? Maybe I'll pull that one out. I'm just playing some music. I lowered the volume and I'm playing some music over this because they were playing classic rock and I didn't want to get a strike. So I just kind of lowered the volume uh, and just play some music over this. Uh, we got some Robin here and uh, I'll speed this up. I'll go through this box pretty quick. A little 50 cent bin. Kind of cool, right? All these 50 cent books. And it looks like a lot of mix of mixed Sleepwalker. Uh, some Marvel, DC, X-Men, X-Force, Marvel, DC, and we got some indies uh, thrown in there, and we have some Valiant Comics, and there was a Cerebus in there, too. Oh, is this the movie, The Prisoner? Is this from the movie, or is this something else? Let me know. I haven't, I don't know this book. In the comments below, let me know if this is the, uh, you know, the English TV show from the 70s. <clears throat> All right, here's the, uh, Dark, Legends of the Dark Knights, the Tao story arc. And they have a bunch of back issues here in the middle. And here are all the new books here along the wall. They are well stocked. They got everything. And here is Nightclub. A little Mark Millar section. Nemesis. Very cool, right? And they have the A cover and some B covers here. And we got some... Uh, along the bottom here, we have some trade paperbacks. All right, they got a lot of. They got the uh, Walking Dead Deluxe Edition. That's still going. That's on number sixty right now. Looks like was that fifty nine or number sixty? It's colored and it's cardstock covers, and invincible action figures. And in the middle row there, they had all the back issues there on the top and the bottom. You can pull out uh, boxes below. And they had back issues all on there. A bunch of Star Wars out now this month, right? A bunch of uh, something's killing children. The Donny Cates Vanish book on Image. And there's those fancy uh, short boxes with the Venom imprint on it. And today is Tuesday, so I think uh, maybe the new comics will be coming, right? The Tuesday and Wednesday, right? The deliveries now for new books coming in. And we have uh, Planet of the Apes has a new book out. Was that number two? And we got uh, Indigo Children number one. I don't know what that is, that indie. And we got Joe Fix It. Man, I missed that. Should I grab this? Should I grab the Joe Fix It? And here is Junk Rabbit. Here's a Joker book. All right, Radiant Black. And maybe I've uh, got a Predator book. Maybe I'll go through the uh, some back issues too. Maybe I'll, I'll go through some of these back issues here. They got a whole section here in the middle. Tons of back issues. And we got that Robin book. All right, this is a really cool store. Let us know in the comments below if this is your LCS, if we're missing anything. And here's the Joshua Williamson Superman run and the Tom Taylor John Kent Superman doing this Dawn of DC thing, right? Oh, very cool, man. Superman looking good lately, right? He's got some good books out. And we have some G.I. Joe uh, action figures, some Predator, some Turtles. All right, man, they got a lot of cool stuff in here. And look at all of these back issues. I don't know where to go here. And it looks like they have sets also. They have some sets they put together, some books. A little E.T., 40th anniversary. What does that say? All right. And we got tons of Funko Pop. Funko Pop still going strong. And they got some wall books. Should I try to focus in on these wall books? Um, and they have some posters on the ceiling. Look at that, right? Like a clubhouse. Some posters on the ceiling there. Uh, I think I saw a Kiss poster. And I'm going through some back issues. All right, here, very cool. Look at this. They have two boxes in the front. This is their hot boxes, hot new issues that just came into the shop. So they just must have bought somebody's collection. And these are the hot books that just came into the store, hot up the shelves from somebody's collection. 
if you guys want some Bronze Age or I guess Silver Age. And this is a Fantastic Four and Avengers book a box. And next to it is a Daredevil and Iron Man box. And these are the hot books that just came in from someone's collection they just bought, I guess, right? Got some Submariner. These are in, uh, looks like they're in great shape. And we have a, uh, what was that, Donchik on the cover there on the second box? Look at him. There's a little Mavericks action. And then we have a little superheroes collection here. All right, let's go through this box here. I'll speed it up for you guys. Let's go! Check some of these back issues here. You guys want to go in here? Oh, look, the uh, Scott Snyder comicsology run here. Night of the Ghoul. Oh, they got the whole run here. They got one, two, and three. These are very thick, too. These aren't... These are like seven bucks, but they're like two or three comics packed in there. Uh, and I read it online on comicsology. Oh, man, it was awesome. Oh, there's some... Uh, there's that Kiss poster right above here, right? There it is. My own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the crowd All right, they have UFC cards in here. I don't know, do they have a tank card or a shamrock in there? All right, these are the upcoming events. They have a little flyer here, Contropolis, all the upcoming local cons. They got Geek Flea Market. So they got some cool flyers here. And they have a cool wall. Should we check out the wall here? And get a close-up on some of their books here? It's like a... Dark Knight Returns, they got that ASM 55, the amazing Spider-Man with the web head. His head is, uh, and we got a bunch of books here. We got Batman Damned. All right, got a cool wall here. A bunch of uh, Bronze Age X-Men. And we got the first Carnage up there on the top right. All right, very cool shop, right? This is awesome. And we got some more back issues here. Do we have time to go through some of these back issues? And we have, uh... More wall books here. Should I grab a wall book? Should, I, should we look over a wall book? All right, we got some sets here too. A little Punisher set. What was that 20 bucks for 1 to 18? And they have, um, here's another set, Captain America set. Look at this. And there's some new Just In back issues. You see the boxes there on the right? Just In. All right, Paradox Comics, man. UPS is pulling up behind me. Check them out. They're delivering the new comic books behind me. Check it out. And there's some pizza next door. All right. That was Paradox Comics. I grabbed some books in there. They had a 50 cent bin, and they had some great back issues, and they had a nice wall there. I couldn't get a focus on the wall, though. I should have maybe showed you guys some of the books on the wall. But I grabbed some books in there. I happened to be in the area passing by, and they said they're having a big sale in May. Uh, I think it's Mother's Day weekend, 50% off the whole store or something. So maybe check out that website, they're having a big sale in May. Um, but let me show you this. Stay with me. I'll show you the books I grabbed. I just picked up like six or seven books, but uh, it's just, just kind of cool. All right, stay with me for a second. These two were right out of that 50 cent bin, that 50 cent bin right in the beginning. And this is Magnus Robot Hunter, number 48, Valiant Comics, mid 90s in their glory there, Valiant in their glory. And this is Powers on the right, Brian Michael Bendis on uh, Icon. And it looks like it's issue 10. Pretty cool books, right? 50 cent books. And then on the right there, there was a Cerebus book. It was Cerebus number 119. I think that was the High Society arc. 
what is that, the second or third arc in the Cerebus run, uh, number 119. Uh, it's got to be, what, late 80s? And on the left, this book's got a lot of good reviews. Junk Rabbit, number one. It was, uh, was it by Jimmy Robinson? And the artwork looks terrific. And it got a lot of good reviews as an indie uh, on Image, so I thought I'd grab it to be kind of cool. And then we got Vanish on the left there, that Donny Cates book, number four. So the store had a bunch of indies and the big two, Marvel DC and Image, and they also had a bunch of indies in there and some back issues, so it was kind of cool. So I'm following this Donny Cates run. I don't know if you guys are following it. On the right, we got the Tom Taylor Superman John Kent adventures. So I bought number one. I thought I'd stick with it and try number two. I think this is a six-issue miniseries. I'm pretty sure this is a miniseries. They're letting Tom Taylor finish off his John Kent story, I think. Um, the Tom Taylor books I usually grab, they're kind of cool. Noctera is awesome. I don't know if you guys have been reading this. But I've been I've been sticking with this uh, whole run here. They're on number 13. And on the left... Dark Knights of Steel. Dark Knights of Steel. DC Darkness. Another Tom Taylor book here on the left. That's a great read. I love that miniseries. Like and subscribe if you guys like the content here. Ring that little bell. Let you know when I have new uh, videos out. Uh, Mark Millar with uh, that nightclub book and keeping it at $1.99, if you guys haven't noticed that. He's keeping that book at $1.99 on image, uh, letting you know it can be done. And on the left, we got Monstrous, number one, the reprint from Image. Um, I think it might be like one of the best runs go ongoing, right? One of the best comics. And that was a number one reprint. I grabbed it. This is Night of the Ghoul, the uh, Scott Snyder book, and uh, Francisco Franci uh, Francivia, right? And this is, um, on Comixology, this was their imprint. And this thing was awesome. This was a banger, man. And uh, it's one of those things where some guy made a movie in Italy. And if you watch the movie, you go nuts. And he's tracking down the movie. It's turning people crazy. And he's, tra he's tra tracking down the urban legend. And he finds a guy in a hospital who supposedly made the movie. So this is Night of the Ghoul. And these are very thick, these books. Here are some upcoming events that the uh, LCS had there. That, um... Paradox Comics had some uh, flyers here for a geek flea market and upcoming uh, comic events. Would you see that kind of cool? And here is their card. They had their own card also, right? Look at them. Fancy Pants Paradox Comics. PC. And there's their number and their address. Pretty cool card here, right? And here is their uh, Facebook and Twitter, or the social media. So let us know if that was your LCS. If we missed anything, let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. And uh, I thought I'd grab some kind of cool books in there. These Night of the Ghoul books are very thick. They're like seven bucks, but they're like three comics. So we got what, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I got like 13 books. All right, guys, pretty cool, right? I will see you next time.